A very good evening and welcome to Geelong Newsbeat. Yes, we're down at the a beautiful Ocean Grove area and it's the Ballerine Sport and Aquatic Centre. It's continued development. It's due for opening uh, in the, the coming holiday period as the tourists will be absolutely thriving in the uh, Ballerine uh, Peninsula area. And we're going to be joining some of Geelong's leading citizens and councillors as we have a little wade in the uh, new pools that are being tiled and catch up to how construction is going at this magnificent new centre, the Ballerine Sports and Aquatic Centre. A lady who certainly has the heart of Ballerine deeply in set is the Minister, oh, the minister for... A uh, number of things, Graham. <laughs> a number of things. <laughs> That's right. It's certainly the member for Ballarat. Right. It's a very warm welcome to Lisa Neville. How are you, Lisa? It's great, and it's great to be here at Ocean Grove looking at the progress on the new pool here. And we are standing, I think, in the uh, one of the, uh, the play pool. It the will be time. a water play area, which will be fantastic for kids and for people like us that are still kids at heart, I think. Most certainly. Uh, Lisa, it, uh, it is great to see this continued development of the Ballerine Sport and Aquatic Centre uh, with all the, uh, all the activity going on around with the, the schools around this district, uh, Shell Reserve, etc. It's becoming a real hub centre, isn't it? It is, and this pool, I think, is going to really service the whole Ballerine Peninsula as it grows. It's got, you know, managed to put in great areas for kids, great areas to learn to swim as well as a 25-metre pool. So I think it's going to be a fantastic fantastic asset, not just, you know, in the next few years, but really moving forward as we know the population will grow down here. A lot of sceptics, and I do emphasise that word, say, oh, Ocean Grove, you know, wonderful surf beach, why do we need a pool? Well, look, as you know, you know, we use, one, you can't swim in the surf at all 12 months of the year, but we also need to provide learn to swim areas for people, um, hydrotherapy, access for people with a disability, and that's one of the great features of the 25 metre pool is great access for people with a disability. So pools are all year round facilities and it's attached to basketball courts and other um, sporting facilities. So I think it will be an important facility, not just can I emphasise for Ocean Grove residents, but for the residents right across the Bellarine. And the City of Greater Geelong and the Victorian State Government uh, have uh, been in uh, joint partnership uh, in, in relation to the funding of this wonderful development. That's right. It's an example of you know what you can do in partnership between local council and the state government. So this is what ratepayer and taxpayer money is being put towards a facility like this, which will be great for, for all people of all ages and all capacities here in the, in the Bellarine Peninsula. Now, uh, on the uh, the job front, uh, Lisa, they're keeping you pretty busy? Uh, it's a pretty busy time. So, you know, with mental health, uh, of course, we've just had Mental Health Week and you've been a successful winner of, uh, and a, right, a good winner of one of the Mental Health Awards during uh, Mental Health Week. And we've also just finished Seniors Week, which was a great success yes. as well. So, um, and we've, oh, yesterday we celebrated the Paralympians coming back who um, did us proud and we had four great winners here from Geelong who participated in the Paralympians. So it's been a really busy but exciting time. Well, it's certainly very positive and I must say that you know on all indicators, employment indicators, real estate indicators, building um, approvals, we're still travelling very well here in Geelong and part of that I think are things like the TAC for example moving and that's really helped our um, you know um, real estate market but we've got such a big population um, boom here in Geelong that that's really kept us strong and I think uh, we will be able to ride out um, compared to some other places around the world ride out some of these economic challenges that we face at the moment. Well, a man who knows all about swimming pools because he normally walks along the side and coaches our future champions and is also a champion of the causes in the area of sport and recreation. Our city of greater goodness, it's Councillor John Mitchell. How are you, Mitch, on this Good, morning? Rollo. Yeah, very good. Very good. This is becoming a bit of a habit, mate. Well, um, yeah, we can't go and meet. I, I, I can't say pe- that to Lisa. People will talk to us. Talk about us. <laughs> Another wonderful facility being put in and something that's very close to your heart. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Look, to have a, you know, most people look at 25 metre facilities and, and don't think they're quite adequate enough. Well, this this is a little bit different. It's got separate uh, learn to swim, separate play area for the kids and a 25 metre pool as well. So it's not just a 25 metre pool. It's a, uh, you know, it's a full swimming complex. It's absolutely fantastic. It's probably better than what I thought it would be, to tell you the honest truth. Uh, it's not only from a sporting perspective, 
perspective. But, you know, we're down the coast here. They're in the surf. They're in the ocean. If you can teach them how to teach kids how to swim properly in the first place, they can not only pro, you know progress it as a sport, but they can also be safe around water, and that's the most important thing. And it's something you can do on your own. All you need is some water. You don't have to have uh, 11, 10 mates to play it like you do to play a game of cricket, or you know half a dozen blokes to have a kick at the footy. You can do it on your own. You can actually go to the ocean or go to the pool and swim by yourself. So that's fantastic. A great initiative. Uh, again, another partnership between the Victorian government and the city of Greater Geelong, and uh, the project is uh, very much on time. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Look, uh, uh, Lisa Neville, and uh, who's the uh, member down here, and Jan Farrell, who's the ward councillor down here, have worked uh, hand in hand to uh, to deliver this. Uh, the city's put in a lot of money, and so has the state government, and the community is the winner, to tell you the honest truth. You know, they're two hard-working people for the area, and, uh, you know, they, they deserve all the credit, to tell you the truth. Now, uh, the, the question of being on time, uh, it's going to be uh, opened uh, before the Christmas period, which is when all the holiday makers come in, and uh, it certainly will be a, a thriving place uh, come summer. Oh, there's no doubt about that. I think that the opening's around December the 14th, uh, and there's no doubt that there'll be a lot of people down here in the summer, but it's not just the summer. In the winter months, you know, uh, you know this. This is when it'll, you know, to my to my way of thinking, it'll kick a goal because, you know, people can then instead of I coach swimmers and a lot of kids from Ocean Grove travel into uh, Newtown every day and uh, and swim with me, so they won't have to do that travelling. You know, with the cost of petrol and all that, they'll be able to uh, to establish themselves here and uh, you know and have it, to have a pool in their backyard. And it's not only just for Ocean Grove; uh, it's for the whole of the Bellarine. So it's fantastic. You know, it's a really great facility. And with all the uh, schools surrounding uh, oh, in yeah. the Ballerine and being indoor, yeah. uh, it'll just uh, multiply in its, uh, its use as far as uh, the general community is concerned. Well, there's no doubt about that. The beauty of being indoors is it's the same temperature every day. You know, it doesn't rain on you, it doesn't blow on you, it's just the same temperature and you can swim 365 days of the year and uh, use the facility uh, and, and it's to everyone's benefit that this facility is built in here. It's taken some 30 odd years to get it, so it's fantastic. It's a feather in those guys' cap, caps to uh, to had this achievement uh, built, you know, in this centre built down here. It's fantastic to tell you now, the truth. Now the big word come opening, um <laughs> Councillor Mitchell is that uh, the member for Ballerine, Lisa Neville, if uh, she is going to make an appearance, but uh, you better watch your back because she reckons she's going to push you in first. Yeah, well, that's happened before, I suppose. So, uh, look, I'm, I'm happy to take a swim, so that's that's fine. And you'll float. <laughs> I will float. I might be in better condition by then uh, in the summer training program. Uh, so uh, that'll be good. Yeah, out riding the bike with uh, Councillor yeah, Harwood? Yeah, uh, ride the bike day tomorrow. Uh, we had a bit of a ride yesterday. So, uh, look... All these things that are that they're initiatives of not only the city but the state government and the community, uh, all these initiatives are, are to make people be a little bit healthier, feel good about themselves and, and enjoy their life because uh, we're only here for a short time, you know, so, uh, you know, the reality is the, uh, the more healthy we are and the, and the better facilities we've got which enable people to do that. So it's fantastic. Uh, I see Councillor Farrell wandering across here when she puts the bikini on and, uh, and uh, does a racing start, you know, on the opening day. It's something we look forward to seeing. A man who has it from the heart, the grassroots, and he knows what it's all about and uh, very enthusiastic about uh, his portfolio and the city of Greater Geelong and the work it is doing. Thanks very much, John Mitchell. Thanks, Rollo. Good on you, mate.